Welcome back, I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Pathfinder Kingmaker, the Chronicle of Obvious Cyril. These fishing boats have seen better days. Looks like no one took them out on the lake today. Hey. Oh, right, right, we were going to talk to these people. Welcome to Brevis's roadside shop. Judging from his accent and his fine clothes, the trader isn't from around here. You sent me a letter, right? About a hunter named Ivar and his silver dragon stories? The trader smirks. Ivar, he's a resourceful one, to be sure. Made the whole area believe he's some chosen one, the spokesman for the silver dragon. The idiots around here listen to everything he says and do whatever he asks. It's strange, though. After this, Ivar fellow came to the town, came to the village with his sack of silver scales and his ridiculous stories about the silver dragon, things in the area started to change. There was this wolf pack, used to cut through the local cattle like a housewife cuts through vegetables. After Ivar got there, the wolves won't even come close to the local cows. Same with the monsters in the woods. They don't take step, they don't take step one toward the village or its people. It's all pretty strange if you ask me, very strange indeed. All right, what's causing all the fuss around here? You mean those fish jumping ashore, the trader frowns? These fools believe it's thanks to their patron, the Silver Dragon. He supposedly decided to provide the villagers with a feast and sent them this gift. Idiots. I don't know the real reason those fish are jumping, but if it were me, I wouldn't get too close to those fish or that lake. All right. Um, I'm surprised to see a trader in such a remote place. I usually buy hides from the local hunters, but sometimes they come up with some rather intriguing trophies. No wonder, though, considering the number of different beasts living in these woods. Yeah, I passed a perception check, so I can do this intimidate here. Hmm, these wares don't look like hunting trophies. They remind me more of some robber's loot. Let's see. Better than 50% chance? Sure. Succeeded an intimidate check. The trader's face goes blank. I'm sure I have no idea what you mean, Your Grace. This is all pretty standard trade around these parts. You know, totally unrelated. I just realized I haven't had an opportunity before to offer a donation to help support our barony. <laughs> Valerie's lips purse with disdain. Those like him think anything can be bought, even laws and rulers. Neutral evil would be donations or always. Lawful neutral attack. Not only are you selling souls, but now you're trying to bribe your way up just as. Why don't you start with where you acquired these goods of yours? The trader glances at you suspiciously. All right, all right. There's a cave to the north. Some less than law abiding fellows have taken up residence there. If we're being uncharitable, you could call them bandits. I sell things they've collected, but I've never robbed anyone myself. You have my word of honor on that. Alright. Well, the closest thing to taking your word of honor here would be the neutral evil donations are always appreciated. Well, donations are always appreciated. Valerie, how low? You performed a neutral evil action. What do you mean, how low? I don't have enough as an evidence to do the supposed lawful neutral thing of attacking him for breaking some law. I, well, all we have is my suspicion that he's acting as offense. 
and his conv confession. So now, hopefully, he'll be going straight and narrow, now that he's run into the, ba the Baron. Um, can I see your wares? All right. Shirt plus two, not bad. I've got my Heart of Valor. Anyone wearing white? Not chainmail plus two. Alright. You're doing Woodlands Aegis. Oh that's the light that's the uh that one studded light armor. Oh it's a plus two, okay. Yeah, I think what you're wearing is better. What about you, Octavia? You're wearing leather plus two. Max dex of six. Yeah, I think what you've got is probably better for you. Alright, well, I might as well sell some... I have an extra leather plus two. Interesting. I might as well sell some stuff while I'm here. All right, I'm keeping the magical stuff because next time we're at home, we're going to see about possibly giving that to some of our uh, um, other group members that aren't usually in the party. Yeah, we can sell the Wand of Greece, that's fine. All right, let's get rid of all that stuff. There we go.
Well, this has interesting um, plots and plot hooks and such, but nothing that seems to be an actual quest. Alright, I suppose let's get out of here. Alright, let's go to Silver Step Grove here. There's an Alpha Warg. Um, anything else? Maybe a Silver Dragon that we could talk to? That'd be nice. We can do it. Serves you right. Oh, there's another there's an alpha wolf. And another alpha wolf. And they're specifically targeting uh well, okay. I mean, to be fair, they're wolves. In our group, Lindsay would be the first logical target for creatures like that to make, so... Well, to go after, I mean. Good job, Octavia. Man, they have really got it out for her. Alright, we'll go after the Alpha Wolf. Oh, you tripped the wolf. Good job. Oh no, another... Oh, a dire wolf this time. Uh, Valerie. I'll go after the Alpha Warg. Good job. Amiri, rage time. Get this Alpha Warg. Oh no, another dire wolf. You don't have your controlled fireball. You do have your control. Oh no. That just means it does the minimum damage to us. It still does damage to us though, so. Burning hands. No, you'd still be catching Lindsay. Yeah, do a cure serious on Lindsay. Good job. Alright, which one shall I shoot? The ward, of course. Yeah, I... I... You're just going to skip things right now, Lindsay. 
getting up would be disastrous with that many wolves on you. Alright, go after that dire wolf, Octavia. Good job. Wolf, attack this dire wolf. I think... Oh, yeah. You killed it. You didn't just trip it. You killed it and yeeted it across the ground. Cool. Dire wolf attacked me. Valerie, go after the alpha warg. Amiri, the alpha warg. Well done. Christine, go after the dire wolf that's on me. Um, just go ahead and shoot the one right on me. That works. Oh, I killed it. Cool. And then hurt the other one. Alright, Lindsay, it's just one wolf. You can go ahead and get up now. Oh, good, it missed you. Your piercing scream it. Oh, and it tripped you again. I'll fight if I have to. Good job, Octavia. Go, Wolf. You exploded the Alpha Wolf with your jaws. Good job. Alright, good job, team. Is done. Oh, more alpha words that aren't just attacking us. Oh, there's Ivar. Okay. Hey, Ivar, don't come closer. Don't. How can I stop it? It's too. Oh. He's a werewolf? And now the wargs are attacking us. Got it. Um, yeah, Valerie, hit the one that's right up on you. Oh no, Amiri's been tripped. Alright, well, I'm going to try to move away. Good, it missed me on the attack of opportunity. Oh, and I still have an attack left, so get the Alpha Warg. Alright, Octavia. The Alpha Wolf, the Alpha Warg there. Okay, interesting. Um, Scorching Ray the Alpha Warg. Actually, no. Go ahead and channel Positive Energy Heal Living. Thank you. Alright, Amiri. I know there's two on you, but get up. If anyone can take it, it's you. Go ahead and take this one that's right on you. Good job. Alpha Warg. Good job, Wolf. Lindsay, time for your music. Oh. I was clicking on the spell tab. I wasn't telling her to move way over there. 
great. Valerie, that also works, so... Oh, Amiri's been tripped again. And Ivar is attacking my wolf. This also works still. Octavia, it's spell time. Haste us. Centered on you. Christine, heal some more. Nice. Yep, get up again, Amiri. Bring it. All right, Wolf, we'll just attack Ivar. Good job, Lindsay. Get Ivar. You deserved it. Oh, poor Miri. She keeps getting tripped. Mm. I mean, if anyone in the group can handle it, though. Alright, let me shoot the Alpha Lord that keeps tripping her. Alright, that one's dead. The other one on her is wounded. Octavia. Um... Go after Ivar. Go after... I... I would prefer to consider you doing what I told you to do, but... Um... Oh, throw a fireball back where it will get him, but not us. Good job. Christian, keep channeling positive energy. Right, Amiri, get up. And attack the Alpha Ward there. Or you know what? Use your renewed vigor. Alright, Wolf, get Ivar. Lindsay, shoot the Alpha Warg on Amiri. Mallory, after the Alpha Warg there. Good job. The werewolf's powerful body shrinks and contorts. The beastly features transform into the face of Ivar the Hunter. There are deep wounds all over his body. Ivar. So this is how it finally ends. Tristian, you defeated him. That is enough. Stay your hand. Do not let anger control you. Tristian looks at the werewolf, sadness in his eyes. Please, at least speak with him before passing your sentence. Lawful neutral? No. Tell me the truth about what happened to you. Let it be my last fairy tale, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stupid young hunter named Ivar. He loved his family, his wife, his son, his little daughter, very much. He also loved making up fairy tales for his children, but one night he came up with a foolish story. One about a silver dragon that can only be spotted if you climb the top of a high cliff as the new moon rises. That very night, the children snuck out of the house, and their bodies were found at the base of the cliff the next morning. 
His poor wife's heart couldn't bear the loss. Lisa. She was gone soon after. So Ivar cursed himself, cursed his own babbling tongue and reckless mind. Standing near the graves of his family, he could only mutter to himself over and over, I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Then he felt the self-inflicted curse begin to melt him from the inside, burning him, turning him into a beast. He became a werewolf, he swore to protect the village to honor the memory of Lisa and his children. He wanted to serve people to bring them good instead of evil at least once. Amiri, anger and pain invited a beast soul into a human heart. Hmm. When I was a kid, the old crones talked about something like this. I thought it was just a fairy tale, though. Why not work for me? Lay down the title of Dragon's Voice and become the Baron's Voice for the people. Ivar, sorry, Baron, but no, I'm not interested in working for anyone else. Besides, the village would never accept me if they learned who I really am. So please, just finish me off or let me go. The choice is yours. <clears throat> Alright, were I to spare you, what would you do? I stopped looking to the future long ago, but, but I don't think I belong here anymore, especially if people discover the truth. Were you to spare my life, I'd leave. Leave and try to find a new reason to live. Enough, Ivar. I've heard what I need. I won't kill you. Ivar stands, holding the wound on his side. I was not expecting mercy, but I'm certainly grateful for it. Do none of the people that I have been merciful to ever think to mention that to anyone? I should have a reputation for this by now. Christian lowers his head. I hope you can come to terms with your loss. May Serenray's light guide you. Tristian turns to you. Thank you for showing mercy. And I guess I have a new curse to look into. Another giant project that only my high priest can do, but will occupy weeks, if not months, of his time. Octavia is shaking slightly after all that's happened. Thank you for giving him a chance. I... I hear there's a cure for for lycanthropy. Good luck to you, Ivar. Um, no, I'll go with the chaotic good one. I no, because the neutral one's definitely not. Um, no. Go try to forgive yourself if you can. Ivar bows slightly, then winces in pain. A word in parting, if I may, Baron. Consider. It my werewolf and sticks talking. I can tell you'll be the subject of stories and legends yourself soon, and I'm sure they'll be told far and wide across the land. Now, whether they'll be tales of terror or hope, well, that will be up to you. No, because I won't be the one writing the tales, so... It won't. Lindsay, I'll make sure of that, Lindsay smiles, and your story, it won't be forgotten, I promise. Man, you had stupid kids. And the one living Alpha Warg is running off with him. Okay. Oh, what's this here? Two small graves hide at the foot of the rock, wooden grave markers whittled and painted with loving care, and placed at the top of both. No stopping now. Alright, now let's try to actually get to Varnhold. We had 
An act, another letter from him? Oh, what's this kingdom thing? The barony's out of reach, though. Well, whatever it is, it's gonna wait then. If we can actually get there this time. Probably not. Just as we turned toward Varnhold, we ran into a patrol again. We exchanged the usual, usual pleasantries and they offered to accompany us to the city. Why isn't there a third option? A fourth option? The Baron took the opportunity to learn the reason for such caution. Bandits, you're good. Same thing. Okay. Well, look, we were specifically invited to actual Varnhold. Sure, we agreed to let the guards escort us to safe, safely to Varnhold. And they're going to escort us somewhere else, even though the thing is going to say Varnhold. But it's not going to be Varnhold. It's going to be somewhere completely different on the map from where Varnhold actually is. And there's like a keep that we can't enter or even get anyone's attention at. There's like two guards, but they don't talk to us about anything. There's no discernible entrance. It's like, okay game, if you don't want me going to Varnhold, then stop giving me reasons to try to go to Varnhold. March on! May we have a moment of respite? Yeah, give me a moment, though. See, that location there is not Varnhold. Why won't they let us get close to Varnhold? Well, I guess an ancient mine is next. Oh, we're all tired. Yeah, we can rest. Alright, I guess I'm hunting. that ancient mine, I suppose. Hi, oh, it's raining pretty hard. Nice. Wow. It's been a while since I've actually seen good weather in this game. Oh my, an ancient moon. Oh, um, music time, Lindsay. Oh, a 
it's poisonous apparently. Fireball it, Tristian. Nicely done. Alright, wolf attack. Oh, you tripped it. Excellent. Go attack it, Amiri. Nice. A crit for 59. That's awesome. Um, Valerie, go ahead and lightning bolt it. Um, just shoot, Lindsay. This is where I step in. We can do it. Good job, team. Oh, it has an amulet. Amulet of natural armor plus two. Is anyone wearing worse than that? I don't think so. It is done. Stopping now. All right, it's not something we can enter. Okay, got it. All right, let's get going then. Have we not been to Lonely Barrow before? Bandit Raider. In the dim light, you come across a group of armed men with swords and bows. Two of them are squatting near the body of a halfling. Spotting you, one of the men stands up and regards you with a crooked sneer. Well now, well now, men, look. A corpse that don't, that don't know it's dead yet. What, you come to loot the place? The bandit leader bares his teeth. You're too late. We were here first and we're keeping what we found. We're scholars, see? This is our find. Valerie looks at the bandit, then at the corpse at his feet. She reaches for her weapon. Dirty marauders, we cannot let them go. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I think I like the attack one. But no, who are you and what are you doing here? Can't you see for yourself? Research us. We are researching this crypt now. Everything we find, why, we give to the poor. The leader chuckles, and then the other bandits join in. We're here on a job, see? This one hired us. The leader nods at the halfling corpse on the floor. He needed help to get into these ruins, and we were like, why not? He clicks his tongue sadly. But a shame. Soon as the little one showed us the way in, he became ill. Must be the excitement, I bet. Valerie, such villainy. You murdered a man who trusted you, and now to cap it off, you dare to utter threats against the legitimate ruler of these lands? Bandit Raider. Short of it is, the, the crypts our find. We'll deal with the traps ourselves and start researching right away. The man nods at you, then nods at the exit. You'd better leave before you catch something. I think that's... I've got what I needed. You've picked the wrong tone to speak with the Baron. Death to grave robbers. Actually, death to murderers. Valerie, let us cleanse the lands of this filth. Bandit Raider, we'll see who dies today. Victory. Yes, we will. Valerie, use your bless. Good job. And Use my rock thing. Oh, they've been hasted. Interesting. Now, when I do that, it's going to look like we copied them. Alright, Wolf, we'll attack this one that's right up here. And you tripped him. Good job. All right, Lindsay, music, and crossbow. Did you just kill that one? All right. That one was super weak if all it took was my weak rock spell and one bolt from Lindsay. All right, Amiri, rage. And take out this raider here. They go down! Oh, you can't. We're clogging the the opening. Okay, then. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have moved forward. <clears throat> but I wanted to use my spell and not hit us. Oh. Um, do your controlled fireball. Uh, yeah, you'll catch like three of them right there. Good job, Tristan. Right, Octavia, haste us. Good job. Uh, and then move back a bit. Give me a path to get through. Alright, Valerie. Attack this bandit here. Alright, I'll get out of the way and shoot at that one. Right. Dude got up and you tripped him again. Good job, Wolf. Now finish him off. Good job, team. There's a glowing green orb in the sky over there.
Well, not sky, but up in the air. Okay. There's their dead halfling. Had a torn book. Melted shard of a ring. This one had a magical heavy crossbow. What is it? Heavy crossbow plus two. Cool. Oh, what's this? Oh. Apparently opened a door. Trap. And Lindsay was called for it. He was. Anything else? Onwards. What's that? A trap. <clears throat> Good job, Lindsay. Would you look at that? I failed. I'm sorry. It's just not my lucky day. Hmm. Your turn, Octavia. I did as you asked. Good job. A massive sarcophagus lies before you. In the dim light, you can see the edges of gleaming carvings that wind their way along the sides and up across the lid of the sepulchre. Let's see. Athletics 12, slide the sarcophagus lid aside. Perception 28, examine the lid. Knowledge World 28, examine carvings. Perception 22, walk around it. All right, well, let's examine the carvings on the sarcophagus. Ooh, succeeded. The carvings on the coffin depict an ancient Cyclopean empire. They speak of a rebellion when human tribes rose up, rose up, rose against their Cyclopean masters. Judging by the images, the riot was brutally suppressed. The leader of the rebels was caught and the human armies slaughtered. All right, um, we'll walk around it. See if I find anything. I failed a perception check. All right, let me examine the lid then. I succeeded at the much harder check, okay. You step closer to take a better look at the sarcophagus lid and suddenly see deep scratches on its smooth gleaming surface. Judging by the lid, it was slid aside, then slid back into place. Also, you notice rows of small holes covering the lid. Were they made to let air flow into the coffin? Yeah, something's alive in there and needs to breathe. All right, well, let's slide it open then. Come on, uh... Amiri, you can do this. You just need a tenor better. Oh, you failed. After several failed attempts to move it, and spending a good deal of time catching your breath, the marble slab finally slides aside. The slab hits the ground with a great booming noise, echoing in the dark hall. So, we failed successfully then. To your horror, the sides of the coffin are raked with scratches and dried blood. Someone was buried here, and they were desperately trying to get out. But despite the scratch marks, there is nothing inside. The sarcophagus is empty. In the darkness behind you, you hear a faint rustling sound. An involuntary shiver runs down your spine. All of a sudden, the grinding of stone erupts around you. The lids of the sarcophagi along the wall begin to slide open. Right, a dread elite skeleton. Good job, Wolf. This is for you. Oh, Tavia, are you okay? There we go. Stay 
Stay behind me. Supposedly there are others, but I don't see them. Okay. Might as well music, Lindsay. Ah, there's one of them. One, there's the other. Oh, and there's even more. Um, yeah, move that way a bit. And then channel positive energy damage on dead. See if that is useful at all. Ooh, not bad. Oh, good job, Amiri. Drop Wolf. Good job, Octavia. Forwards. And good job, me. And on top of that, we've leveled. Nice. We'll have to take care of that next time, though. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Pathfinder Kingmaker, the Chronicle of Arius Cyril, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>